Hi you everybody, so thank you for coming in today's video. So like we talked about last episode, we finally get the floor painted and I'm starting to move in and stuff like that. But today what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get this wall, we're gonna paint it. There's another wall there. We're gonna do it little by little. Uh, first thing I wanna do is the back section or wall. So that way I can put my table and two boxes and everything on the wall and eventually we get to all this in the other side but first thing i want to do is the first back and it's pretty expensive too so i want to do a little at a time uh so i went to lowe's pick up the pry board i just got four for now and see how it does and we got we pick up some paints it was kind of like hard to decide what paint i wanted to do because i don't really care too much but i don't want because once i paint that's it so so we're gonna start painting and let's get that going. All right, I just did fast coat. I think I like this very light-ish blue. Now all my car pretty much is blue nowadays and I don't want a dark color because I want like bright when that when I get the lights inside so I just picked that not not really means anything but I'm gonna put second coat in a little bit but I'm gonna finish that that side and then I will be back and show you how we did all right these pieces are painted so yeah it's pretty nice so we're gonna put this up all the way to the end on the wall that's what we're doing now um in case you guys are wondering i use that the paint and that's the brand i use We got the wall in pretty nice and i didn't finish it all the way but i got started and i know how he likes and i like the way the color is so i was wanting to paint that shelving but then you have to sand all that down paint it dry wait i'm like ah, just the shelving so i put it up uh we were gonna you know the plan was it's supposed to be eight feet so you know uh, we want to connect all the way but um, we miscalculated and it doesn't be able to do that as you can see I have the extra orange we are gonna have two two in the middle two on the outside that's why we had the extra but in the middle obviously it's too short so one day when I learn how to weld I'm thinking this cut and shorten up the pieces and I put the shelving in the middle which you'll be able to do but that will do for now uh, can't wait till all these boxes go up and you know stuff like that and clean up the places so we are and then we are gonna get to that so from the outside if you look at we got the shelving all kind of installed right we put, we bring stuff in it never enough gonna be storage but maybe we can get some more on this side or whatever later on right so we started to bring the more stuff so we can put it up on the shelf takes for, forever but today is another day we got this lift to go in here but that's not how we want we're gonna put it on the lift right here and then over there so we can lift this car up so we're gonna install the lift right now finally bad luck strikes again so that concrete area is supposed to be deep on the concrete so we can put the lift this side is no problem but we drilled two as you can see 
compared to how much dust this side came out, this side came out. That's it. And look how much it's going. This is not even cracked yet, you know? And so what we have to do is unfortunately, all this, we'll have to remove all the stud again. Gotta go buy a new one. Cut it up, lift the whole thing and shift it more to this side. So hopefully we have enough concrete on here and then over here we did some tests this is good this isn't so we need to bring it like more this way so ah, with more work can win all right we got a big board we're gonna make something crazy today all right we just cut it on to the seven pieces so what we're trying to make now is the tire shelving so we can stack tires on the wall with the wheels so we can move anyway I want in future, you know? So that's what we're doing today. All right, one piece, second piece done. Now we're gonna put, put this long board secure to that, put the wheels and stand it up. That's what we're doing. All right, so we got everything together. That's just gonna wake up this way, but before we're gonna put the one, two, three, four, five, six of the wheels and then this thing can finally come up. All right, update time. So move the lift leg out of the hole so we can mark and cut 3.5, you know, this way so we can go deeper in the concrete. We just put latches strap like that to hold that. So now I'm gonna me measure it and cut the hole. All right, so, marked it. So I'm gonna go Home Depot and enter tools and time to cut this thing off. All right, so I got the machine from Home Depot, so we're gonna get that thing cut it up right now. problem happened was the braid got super dull and it would barely cut stuff anymore so i had to go back to home depot because we're renting this got a different braid hopefully this one is better and just gotta finish it up um, if you look at it here it's kind of hard to see you can see the dirt already but some like like here it's still concrete so we gotta go around and cut um, where it's not true and then somehow magically pick this thing up <laughs> and get it out so we decided to cut this too right and we ran out of the braid again it's all fucking gone and I decided to pull here and the whole piece lifted so something gave out so we get to go on here just gotta work on this one now so I'm gonna return these tools and then we're gonna start prying off. That one came out pretty nice. Look look how thin that is, crazy. Alright, just came back from lentil place, so let's let's see what we can do to get this rest of it out so we can start digging. Alright, we start digging the dirt. Crazy. We got the rest of the concrete out over there. Uh crazy, like this this over here is so thin. What the hell? Alright, that should be more than enough. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna drill into the existing concrete, put the lever, and then go get the concrete and pour this thing in. So finally we can have some lift. I'll just put the lever on the edges. I don't wanna go, that's where the lift, I think the lift goes. So I don't wanna go, like I, I was thinking to go across, but when I go drill to the floor and then I don't wanna hit it, so. That should be plenty. It's going to probably like here, so should be fine. And I, the problem is this is too thin here, so I don't want to drill here and crack it. I think I'm gonna dig some more on the bottom so that concrete can go under better than dirt. I think so. That's what I'm gonna do next, and then let's go get concrete and let's pour this thing in. And I decided I'm gonna take out all the lock out here. And I'm gonna put concrete from here, you know, so it's all connected. So we can push the car easier and 
you know, heavy stuff, we can roll it in easier. So, while we get the concrete, we're gonna do that too. We got a lot of dirt, so we can finally pour concrete in here too. All right, just came back from Lowe's. We got the concrete. That's what we end up picking up, uh, 4,000 PSI on 60, 60 pound. Uh, according to our math, which is we know professionals, I don't know, but uh, we need double of this to finish the job. So I didn't want to put everything and stress my truck. So this is the first load. And I'm gonna unload this and then we're gonna go get it again. Alright, this is the adhesive I'm gonna use for the leaf lever into the hole. Alright, we got the second load of the concrete done. So we got the machine here. We're gonna connect it so we don't have to do it all manually. So we're gonna start mixing and then pour this thing on. Uh, we already got epoxy. Something came out, so be dry and ready to go all right time for update so this brew tape basically i just tape it up it's for the lane you know so we have something the water goes in there doesn't come to the shop right so i edge this side i'm gonna edge the other side and we tamp it down and ready to pour the concrete so many bags later almost there this side is full. We just have to finish that side. About that many more. All right. So we finally have you know concrete here. So from the driveway, you know, no more dirt lock. It's easy to roll it in. Now it's not the best job, but did my best. You know. All right. These are the updates. After I dry it out, it came out pretty good. Good enough. We put car through it already. There's car in there, but these are the concrete came out decent i mean very rough but it's deep enough that's all it matters i'm gonna have to fill all this crack unfortunately but i mean i don't, I don't really care much it's for my lift uh that's it for the update on the shop um we did a lot of work lately on the cars go to event and working in the garage fixing cars but, but but too much to do lately but if you guys enjoy our content like our video comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on next video